WKTU with some tinkering, stayed alive long after Steve Dahl's Demolition Derby. But then, on July 12, 1988, the station played Let's Stay Together by Tina Turner, and the disco format disappeared. If KTU hadn't been so successful... Frank Cody. And, ...and have that power of a good format, it never could have been reborn again. Drop in the beat. The beat from the top of the world. 103.5. The new KTU. New York. New York. Where do you go, my lovely? It was relaunched with dance music. It was sort of like, oh yeah, I remember the disco era. And then very wisely, that music was then leveraged into contemporary music and a contemporary dance station. True enough, but by the time WKTU said her goodbyes, New York City already had a new sweetheart. Serving the universe from the top of the Gorilla Building. C-100 New York. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, radio station WHTZ signs on the air. WHTZ is owned and operated by Malwright Communications and broadcast at a frequency of 100.3 megahertz. Signing on the air, this is WHTZ and... It's time to wake up. And that thing was a dynamo when it came on the air. I mean, it just, you know, blew everybody's socks off. Andy Denmark. Because it was an in-your-face, it was the feeling of old Top 40 with a crazy morning show and characters in production. WHTZ, New York's newest radio station, 612, Tuesday morning, Neil Diamond. Good, Good morning, morning, Z100. Hi, guys. Hello. I'm laying here under the covers, and I'm toasty warm, and I don't have anything on but the zoo. You, you mean, in other words... I'm butt naked. Ooh, yeah. Yo, the Z Zoo in the morning. I'm butt naked. The Z Zoo in the morning. I'm butt naked. In the morning, in the morning. I'm butt on C-100. And then we get this in the mail today. I have the bulletin right in front of me. This is a statewide alert mm -hmm. from Linden, New Jersey. It says, sure. this department is currently investigating a rash of obscene phone calls mm -hmm. uh -oh. yeah. in which the actor is mainly interested in the sucking of toes. What? Wait a minute. And talking about toes as a means to an end for sex. God. You're kidding oh, me, aren't you? Wait a minute. Is this, is this, now, wait a minute. You, now, all three kidding? of you. I just said it's the truth. Okay. I'm reading from a piece of paper here. Right. He's been calling women at their homes and tries to get the women to meet him at a local motel for sex and toe games. <laughs> <laughs> if any department needs any information on actor with M.O. of toe sucking and meeting at motel, call Detective Robert Bunk at 201-474-8532 and refer to the case number. It's got the case number right here. All right. Andy. I thought it was a joke, so I dialed the number and asked for the detective in question. Detective, you're the time, Johnny. Uh, is uh, Detective Bunk around? Uh, he's off today. Hmm. Could you tell me anything about these? Uh, we got a report here. This is uh, WHTZ Radio. Yes, sir. Uh, we're investigating this. Uh, these obscene phone calls. Uh... I, it sounds kind of weird, but the uh, the toe sucker. You'll have to speak to him on that. No one else knows anything about that? That's his job. You'll have to speak to him on it. He's in charge of all the toe sucking cases. <laughs> Hello, this is Sting, and you're listening to the Z Morning Zoo. Good luck. Good morning from the Z Morning Zoo. Rise and shine with folks like you. This is Eddie Murphy, and you're listening to Scott Shannon and Ross Britton. Hippin' and hopping around the, the Z, and hopping around the Z Morning Zoo. It was all done in such a hurry, in such a rush, and all from the gut. Scott Shannon. We wrote promos ten minutes before we put them on. We cut the sweepers the same day. We produced them and threw them on the radio. It was, it was just the right city and the right time for what we put together.